All right, so we are doing uh, Morgan Le Fay's Pestilence event, uh, Apocalypse Saga, to unlock her awakened abilities. We did the uh, backdoor early access uh, to the campaign yesterday, uh, so we're already done with difficulty one. That was uh, that was Auto City for me uh, at my power level. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going on in this one, but rumor has it it is significantly more difficult. So we might need uh, some good RNG and a couple of attempts. I don't know. Hopefully this video is not unbearable. If I need to edit it down, it takes too many attempts, we will do that. Uh, but just to give you guys an idea of what the node looks like and what you're going to be dealing with uh, when you're in here. So we are currently live on Twitch. Uh, a link to that will be in the description below. Uh, so if uh, twitch.tv slash purple sticky. And if you guys see me kicking it with chat talking to them you might uh get some of that conversation here on youtube so that's what's going on all right so let's see so we're going into morgan Le Fay heroic one one uh looks like we got some spider people looks like we have some unlimited x-men and it looks like we have uh some infinity watch so let's see now one thing to keep in mind I guess we should read this. The Sanctum Sanctorum, New York. I never read these things, but I'll do it for you guys. Fellow sorcerers, I have news. You vanished, Morgan. Now you reappear, gathering us here with whispers. Speak! To the point as ever, Harkness, I knew I liked some part of you. It's true, I did slip away, and I did so in search of a way to get my revenge on you, especially Maximoff. But I called you here because what I found was far more terrifying than any demon I could have conjured. All right, cool. So we are going into this with my dark hold team. Let's see if I have this laid out in. I'll just we'll reposition this. So we are going to put Morgan Le Fay right here and Agatha right here. The reason I'm doing this is because every time uh, Agatha basics, she's going to call an assist from an adjacent dark hold member. Uh, when you're arena, it calls an assist from two people. So I put her between Strange Heartless and Morgan Le Fay on this side, and I'll have Agatha right there. Outside of arena, uh, she only calls an assist from one individual, and I want that to be Morgan Le Fay to maximize my damage. Uh, so my team power right now, as you guys can see, is 948k. So we're no slouches. Uh, I do. I don't spend on the game, so uh, this is a smaller dark hold than a lot of people have. But this is what we got to work with, so we're gonna make it work. Uh, everyone here is G16 out um, with all the relevant T4s, all the good stuff they need. Scarlet Witch is the G15. If I need to bring her up to G16, I'm gonna need that anyway. Um, you know, for the apocalypse unlock and everything. So I might just go ahead and do that if the need the need arises for it. We'll do that. Um, yeah, so to get into this, you are going to need G15 on your Dark Cold team. From what, I, from what I can gather, though, uh, I think everyone being G15 for this is probably going to be pretty difficult. Uh, so I'm glad we have some at G16. And ahead of this, I also went in and uh, amped everyone up to level 88, which is the highest I can go right now. All right. So we got some debuffs up. Let's see here. Uh, let's get the spread on as many people as we can. Spread those debuffs around. I don't really like the look of this group. I don't like the buff clear that she's going to provide. We're going to spread vulnerables around to as many people as we can. Everyone with a vulnerable is going to take 10% increased uh, damage from everything. So I want to get the vulnerables on as many people as I possibly can. All right. This seems like a good time to do this. Again, I've never played this. So I might be blowing a bunch of cooldowns and really wishing I have them for the next wave. So we will we will find out, I guess. Uh, I don't want her clearing off anything. But I also don't want to leave Sunfire up. So let's see. 
Let's go ahead and put another uh, vulnerable up. We will rewind them. They all have slow, so we're going to have a massive turn meter advantage here. I'd like to get through Sunfire if I could. Put a uh, splash down here. Let's go ahead and basic. Let's see if we can get Dazzler down before she starts doing Dazzler stuff. We are good on health, so we'll basic. Alright, so we have a cloak and dagger that we need to deal with uh, immediately. Can I get a chance to go back to the start? So I'm gonna rip these hopefully we don't get too many dodges on cloak all right um i kind of want to rewind the cloak but i also think i can just blow right through them so let's put the hammer down with strange heartless while we have offense up that's unavoidable so yeah cloak's basically out of the out of the picture now anyway uh all right uh i don't want her doing any healing so let's see if we can get the stun on her fantastic we're good on health Let's finish off Cloak, just so I don't have to worry about him anymore. I don't want to leave Black Bolt up too long. He is relatively slow, but he can uh, he can do some damage with that special. Let's go ahead and flip some stuff. All right, we're gonna hang on to this uh, this ultimate because I have no idea what the next wave looks like. Let's see if we can kill Black Bolt. We did. All right. So uh, she's out of the picture. Talking so much, I can't hear the music. I'm sorry, brother. I apologize. I'll shut up. All right. I want to get Phylavel down as quickly as possible uh, because we are relying on these debuffs on everyone. I don't want her specialing and clearing. Well, this is a better group for this, but I just want to get ahead and get Phylavel down. I was really hoping we'd flip that, flip that death brood. That's a bummer. But what are you going to do? All right, let's, uh, let's spread... They're all about to go, so slow is not going to do much. Let's spread the defense down to everybody. All right, Philavel, you got to go. Let's see if we can take out Moon Dragon before she heals. Do we flip here? I know we have a Scarlet and Spider Woman ready to die on that side. I'm not too worried about them at the moment. Uh, but we'll take this opportunity to maybe drop his ass. Nope, he lives. Alright, I don't want Dagger doing anything. So we're going to rewind her. Let's see if we can just take her out. Alright, she's gone. Of course, he clears the, uh, the disrupt with his special. That's that. All right, that's the uh, that's the finisher right there. Black Bolt, stay a while. Alright, so that is node one down of difficulty two of Morgan Le Fay. Not particularly difficult, that first node. Uh, just takes a little bit of time to get through. Training mats, man. Can't argue with that. Couldn't argue with the uh, orange gear from uh, the orange catalyst parts from uh, difficulty one. That was wonderful, and I am loving these training orbs i am uh i am gold rich and training material poor so i will take that all day long all right let's see how no two goes 
Node one, not so bad. I'd like to get the ability block on Phoenix off the bat so that she does it special. I am worried about the cleanse on Squirrel Girl. Alright, let's uh... Let's rewind Squirrely. Let's let's hang on to that. Let's go ahead and I don't know what the uh, the rest of the waves have coming. Let's go ahead and I don't want to get too ahead of myself on cooldowns and, and regret that. We absolutely need to take out magic. Uh, so let's actually... We can just take Squirrel out. I feel like I'd like that, man. She's such a... She's such a game changer if she can pop off with that, uh, that special and healing cleanse. Especially with how many young Avengers we have on the field. That's a little bit worrying to me. Here, node hard, uh, node five, legit hard. That's what Chat's telling me. We'll get there, Shark. We'll see what happens, man. Were you able to get through it? I've heard this is no cakewalk, man. That is what I've heard. All right, let's uh, ah, Squirrely's out of the equation. Let's go ahead and take. Um. We'll go ahead and do this just to redistribute and get some deep uh, defense ups up. Really like to get through magic so that we can deal with this Phoenix. Alright, we're going to hang on to that ultimate. We're just slow playing this right now. So we're gonna basic there. Wong kinda hurting. Alright, so that dropped a new wave. Uh I don't love X23. I'll tell you that much. Let's go ahead and pop this. Get the offense uh downs up. Let's slow let's see if we can slow her. Excellent. We're kind of just leaving Phoenix to hang out, which is quasi-concerning. But she ain't really doing much. Uh, let's go ahead and slap these guys while a bunch of them have defense down. If I can give her to X-23, that'd be killer. Excellent. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright, we need to handle Phoenix immediately. All right, this is excellent. So we are gonna go ahead and spread these debuffs to the group. All right, so far so good. Hopefully uh, not loving these defense downs I got. All right, anytime we have a Merc Lieutenant, he is a pro, well, he's slowed, he's gonna die anyway. So let's go ahead and slow this Nebula. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get a stun on him. So we don't have to worry about ability block and stuns. He resisted. That's a bummer. All right. So let's, uh, let's go in on Merc Lieutenant. That base is going to clear the debuffs off everyone. Do the flip and the group attack right there. Merc Lieutenant's got to go. By Murky. All right, we're gonna get a slow on Storm. You have uh, the special and the ultimate down. That basic from uh, from Scarlet Witch is quite nice. You get uh, two turns of all those debuffs. All 
Offense down, defense down, slow. It's really great. All right, so we're gonna rewind Cyclops. See if we can take him out of the equation. Goodbye. And the icing on the cake. So something to keep in mind on this, guys, as well, you do not need to three-star this. Uh, eventually, in order to get into difficulty three of the saga, you will need to three-star all these nodes. But for now, to move on to the next ones, a, a one and two-star will, will suffice. It'll keep you moving in the event. So if, if you don't, you know, if you lose somebody and you're able to get through it anyway, just go ahead and do it. Get through the event. And by the time, you know, the third difficulty opens up, you're probably going to be stronger. You're probably going to be a higher commander level or whatever. You're going to be able to come back in here and, and do much better in the nodes than, uh, than you did on the first run. So... Don't beat yourself up. Just get it done. All right. So let's see here. We have some dark hunters. We got a red guardian that I'm sure will drop in and cause havoc. And then we have a long shot and shatter star that we need to worry about. Lafay Morgan. No response. This is a deep trance I've ever seen. Don't like any of this, Wanda. An unknown enemy. Dark magic. There are too many uncontrolled elements. I think I, you'd be more comfortable with dark magic at this point, Stephen. All my experience with forbidden magic has brought me an abundance of caution, not comfort. Caution, I understand. We're just not letting Morgan cast a spell unaltered. While she's casting the spell, I've become one of my own. One to let us see exactly what we're dealing with. Alright. Elizabeth Olsen's up to some shit. So let's go ahead and open up the ultimate here. Alright. Uh, I don't know who I'm most worried about. Ghost Riders and all the new content? Absolutely wreck face. So I don't love that. So I'd like to, before I kill anyone else, if I can get him out of the equation, I would like to do that. Evac 10, thank you very much for the follow, brother. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. So let's go ahead and... Is this going to slow for two turns? Yeah, I'd like to postpone the defense down from a special as long as I can. Let's go ahead. We're going to keep spreading around these vulnerables. Again, I have no idea what's going to happen in this node, so I might be blowing too much stuff too early. I guess I will find out. Let's go ahead and extend this. We got a nice spread of debuffs up. And then I'm going to go all in on Ghost Rider before he starts shotgun blasting me into next week. Alright, uh, let's get the rewind. Again, once again, we're spreading vulnerables to as many targets as we can, so everyone takes a little bit more additional damage. Back in on Ghost Rider. I'm going to stay the course on him. Uh, we're about 45 minutes in, Evac. About 45 minutes in, man. We still got a lot to do. So we're actually recording a... Uh, don't mind chatting with you at all. You guys are here, so you get my full attention. Uh, recording a video for the YouTube channel, exclamation point YouTube. Uh, we're starting to get some content over there. Uh, getting our feet wet. So if you guys are watching on YouTube and you're enjoying this, consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. It gives me the encouragement to continue making the content. Oh, we're taking hits. We're taking hits. All right, he's got to go. Uh, but yeah, we got a big night on us, uh, ahead of us here on Twitch. We are knocking out the hard difficulty. Uh, difficulty 2 of the Morgan Le Fay saga. We are on node 3, if I'm not mistaken. We absolutely need to heal. We need to get the defense ups. Uh, and yeah, it's significantly harder than difficulty one, but we're going to get through it. So it just depends on how much, uh, how much investment I'm forced to make into the, the Dark Hole team. Not that it's any bad investment, but we might be taking Scarlet Witch up to G16 tonight if it calls for that. Which she's been doing pretty well so far. 
Uh, I'd like to get rid of Shatterstar before he starts uh, starts defense downing. Salt will be back up soon. Let's spread that again. We're really locking him down with the debuffs, which is awesome. But yeah, we're going to get through this, and then we're going to have uh, some Cosmic Crucible as well, which is very exciting. I appreciate that, Evac. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. We'll be doing Diamond Cosmic Crucible attacks tonight. So we got a lot going on. Alright, so all we're doing now is just slow rolling this. We are taking our time. We're going to avoid blowing un any unnecessary cooldowns so that we're in the best possible spot for the next wave. Because if you get too far ahead of yourself on cooldowns, you can really put yourself in, uh, in quite the spot. We want to avoid doing that. If I can one-shot all these, that might be a little optimistic, but let's, we'll see if we can do it. Rumor has it, no five's a nightmare. So that might might not be on the play tonight. We're gonna see what we can do. All right. Now, if I was smarter, I would have went on to uh, probably went on to MSF.GG and see if they had any node information as far as wave, when everything drops, when, how many characters. That is a great resource that helps you make educated decisions uh, about how you're going to approach the node and about turn order, not turn order, but uh, you know wave composition. If they drop down when three people are dead, four people are dead, whatever, and it lets you uh, gives you this, gives you some information to help you manage your cooldowns as, as well as possible. All right, so there comes that next wave. Uh. I don't love what either of these two are bound to do to my team, but we are relying on debuffs for this, so we're going to go all in on rescue. We're going all in on rescue, and we're going to see if we can lock her down. Alright, so let's spread these debuffs. Excellent. I feel like since we've been slowing this down, I think Scarlet Witch is going to have her ultimate back up soon, which is excellent. We have a nice debuff spread here. It'd be wonderful if we could if we could keep that going. Ooh, Stro! There it goes. All right. There it is. Morbius coming in with the slap. You know what? I'm going to play this out a little bit. Again, like I said, um... It's, it's going to be significantly tougher. Uh, my Strange Heart list is pretty strong, but you do not need to three-star this in order to move on to the next node. And uh, we're going to see if we can continue to get through this. So we have a nice debuff spread here. Let's see if we can skirmish off the offense up. That Morbius is no joke. Excellent. Great extend. All right. And then we are going to go in on... Ebony Maul. I'll see if maybe I can get him down before he gets to ultimate us. Although that may be optimistic. If she has her taunt up... I do want to pull this offense up off, though. She has her... Uh, yeah, her stun, rather. Alright, that's great. Will that land? That landed. Fantastic. Um... Go ahead and hold the line on him. Man, that Morbius is no joke, dude. Even offense down, he's doing some work. Oh, and there goes... There goes Agatha. Alright, I don't know. This might be a restart. We're going to play it out, though. We're going to see what happens. We do have a good debuff spread up. There is that. Morbius. Oh, Morbius. Morbius, Morbius. Really hoping we can get through uh, Ebony Maw. Come on. Can we get through Ebony Maw before he ults? Get him. Excellent. Yeah, I don't know how well this is going to go. 
Don't think we're gonna be able to two-man this. Don't think we're gonna be able to one-man this. All right, let's go ahead and back out, and we will restart. For a second there, I thought we might be able to pull it off with uh, just a couple characters. That Morbius. It, it is absolutely Morbid time, dude. He knows that I didn't go see his garbage movie, and he was gonna make me pay for it. All right, so we need to control Morbius. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. That last wave is no joke. That Morbius is no joke. Even with the offense down on him, he does serious work, and we need to be prepared for that. So let's see what we can do this time. All right. I like the way we handled uh, the slow play on the first couple of waves so we're gonna we're gonna continue to do that that worked out well we just underestimated that last wave a little bit but we're gonna see if we can duplicate the early success we had last time it was totally morbid time man he wasn't having it Alright, let's keep spreading the vulnerables. Let's hold the special. Good on health. See if we can get the ghost right here. We might have needed to use the special to avoid this. I went with the basic to try to get some of those debuffs off him. Not that, not that the special necessarily would have killed him, but. Alright, we do need to special for sure the Scarlet Witch. Let's see if we can get through Shatterstar. All right, get the special up. Wong's back on the field. Excellent. Let's go ahead and spread again. Alright, so I think if I'm remembering correctly, I should have paid more attention, but I think we at three characters on the field to spawn the next wave. So we're gonna spread the damage out a little bit. Great strategy, guys, is to get a node, uh, a wave down as low as you can without triggering the next drop. So if you're in a position where you can get everyone, you know, a significant number of the characters on the field down to red it sets you up for better success on the subsequent wave drop a single aoe maybe knock you know two three guys out from the, the wave prior so let's go in on him i think he's about the defense down us which i don't love but otherwise i think we're in a good position All right, we're going to hold that special. That's a game changer. We're just going to continue to spread out this damage as best we can. While keeping as many cooldowns up as we can. So I think this is going to trigger the next drop. That definitely will. All right, let's see here. Need 
we do need to take care of rescue. We absolutely need to take care of rescue. Um, copy and clear two positive effects. Slow. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this. If we can get this uh, immunity off him and get a slow on him. That would be huge. All right. That's great. That's great. All right. Let's go ahead and extend everything. Let's see if we can skirmish this off. We've got to take care of Morbius, though. We can't leave him up. Rescue and Morbius right here are of great concern to me. Um, let's see if we can get these offense or defense ups off. So I'm actually just going to basic right here, and then we'll look into ultimating next round. All right, what I can't have happen is her taking her ultimate. We cannot let her clear. We are done for if she gets a debuff off. She clears everyone. So we have to get her. Alright, so he is not going to be able to... He's ability blocked. We're going to stun Ebony Maw. We're going to go back in on rescue. And we are primed for a huge slap from Strange Heartless. Let's go. There it is. There it is. Excellent. The big slap. Let's go ahead and clear off their turn meter they are all slowed we are all sped up this puts us at a massive turn meter advantage and this this node is going to go down like butter now all right so we learned some valuable lessons on our first attempt of the node slow play this maintain as many cooldowns as you can get people as low as you possibly can before dropping the next wave i believe the first wave uh, triggers the second wave when there are three people left maybe two msf.gg will tell you for sure but that's a good way to go about it so we are done with it was node three that was node three all right so we are going into node four this is a Marauder's Weapon X node with Astonishing X-Men. This looks like fun. Looks like fun. All right. Let's see how it goes. Let's go ahead and open with the ultimate here. Let's slow down the rewind from Lady Deathstrike. She is a concern. Let's get a... I also don't want Silver Samurai. He's, he's a brick wall, man. If he gets that taunt up, that's going to be difficult. Continue to spread the vulnerables. Let's extend everything. We have a nice spread of debuffs. She has two turns of ability block on her, so I actually think I'm just going to go in on Silver Sam. Alright, so I am concerned about Lady Deathstrike, but I, if I can avoid him getting to his special, that would be great. Let's go ahead and put a blast down here. See if we can taunt uh, or stun Silver Samurai. That would be excellent. We got that. All right, so he's out of the equation for the bit. For a bit, let's go in on Lady Deathstrike. Wong taking hits, man. Taking hits. All right, I'm actually gonna go ahead and bring this down. 
is a uh, high damage first wave, so I want to even the playing field as quickly as I can. That should kill her. Absolutely, want to rebalance. Alright, I would like to get Maddie Pryor down. She does a lot of bad stuff. I, I am messing with it. Can we get her before she goes? Let's spread this to the group. Another ability block on Maddie. Alright, so now we're getting to the point that we're making some serious progress on the wave. So we're going to slow it down a little bit. While at the same time trying not to underestimate. Alright, I would like to go ahead and get through Silver Samurai. We've kept him shut down quite a bit. But I think it's time that he goes. Alright, so we get a bunch of debuff clear. Wong, one of the best strikers in the game. Basic and uh, assist and striker attack. All clearing debuffs off targets. Uh, off your friendly units. That is, that is fantastic. Alright. Let's see here. I don't want Jubilee doing Jubilee stuff. Let's go ahead and put a little damage on her. Let's get a skirmish up or a uh, vulnerable up on Strife. Let's see if we can hit her with a slow defense down, offense down. Fantastic. All right. Maddie Pryor has hung out long enough. She's gone. Strife, I don't want to get stuck behind his taunt. We're going to rewind him. I do want that death proof, but I'm going to stick on Jubilee for now. Alright, let's, uh... I don't want to get stuck behind this Strife Taunt. So I am worried about the Jubes ultimate. But I really don't want to get stuck behind that Strife. Alright, we'll do a big splash right here. By Sabretooth. I feel like we should be due for a Morgan Le Fay special at some point. I don't know that I want to use it. I think I want to save it. Are we there? Yeah, we're there. All right. We're going to save it, but it is nice to know we have that in our back pocket. All right. Taunt, Bishop. Really like to get through the Zemo before he starts doing some Zemo stuff. But let's get an offense down and a slow on Bishop, even though we're going to speed him up with that basic. It's worth it for the debuffs, in my opinion. Let's see if we can flip anything on Zemo. Excellent. Thank you, Vec. Yeah, I might uh, might reach out to you, man. I'm always looking, looking for ways to upgrade, brother. So I appreciate that. Still relatively new to all this, so it's 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 definitely a work in progress, man. But I'm looking to upgrade, uh, so I'll, I'll keep you in mind, man. When I think, feel like I'm ready to do that. All right, let's uh, this is gonna ability block the controllers. He is a controller, if I'm not mistaken, and so that's gonna stop him from doing his alt. That's the real devastating thing that that he's gonna do to us. Absolutely, man. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and get through Zemo. Again, nice spread of debuffs. I kind of want to rebalance, but we have so many good debuffs up. Let's just go ahead and extend that. And we're gonna we're gonna do the approach of knocking down as many people as low health as we possibly can before we trigger the next wave. So we're gonna sp spend a little time here on this left side. Alright, 
trip. And turn him go on Instagram like he really be with the shit. The fuck is this? You ain't never had no pistol with the grip. And you ain't never had no big homie take you up on the lift. I know you shot the front of the you I'll send it to you over uh send it over to you after this. After this recording, Evac. I'll get that to you. I think it's 1794. Actually, if you do ex exclamation point YouTube, great time to plug it as well. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, you probably aren't because there's only a couple of you. But we're going to be adding more Marvel Strike Force content uh, as we start to grow a YouTube channel. Uh, so if you check out the video that is up there already in the link in the description, uh, Evac, for the first video that I have about early access, the Morgan Le Fay event. Uh, check the video description and my Discord tag will be in there, so you'll be able to find me there, man. Alright, so... We are doing well. She is slow. Let's go ahead and stun Beast. We're doing real well on health, so we're gonna hold this. Let's get a slow, maybe an offense down on Sabretooth. It's fantastic. And we're gonna go in on Maddie. All right, spread these around. Should put an ability block on Maddie, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, great. Let's bring down the tentacles. Uh, we're good. Let's uh, you know, now, well, let's get a, let's get some defense ups up. I don't want to say I'm good, and then a Wolverine chains between two people, and I have a dead Scarlet Witch. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and alt here. One thing I've noticed, uh, paying attention to the usage of the Scarlet Witch basic for really hamstringing a, uh, a single character, a high priority target has been very useful for me. I know Scarlet Witch leaves a lot to be desired as far as a member on the Darkhold team. She's always the first person to be replaced, and for good reason. But in situations like this, man, her uh, her basic can really, really does some good stuff against a single target. So pay attention to to who you're using that on, because that could be that could be a big difference maker for you. Alright, let's go ahead and rip off that death proof. Alright. So that's gonna wrap this up for us. Alright, so again, not a particularly difficult node, at least with uh when I ever whatever I had, 950k Darkhold team. And you know, if you're geared up enough to be able to get into this event, your your team's probably similar. I think I could have pulled this off with a little bit smaller of a team. We did, we have, we have had some situations where characters gotten pretty low, specifically Wong, uh, while he's been taunted, getting focused by the enemy team. But overall, it has not been too bad. So we've really been living and dying by slow playing the nodes putting damage onto waves before we drop on on the other waves so we can get some quick uh some quick uh kills on this, the following wave drops down and just really managing cooldowns uh has really been doing doing a lot of good stuff for us so dark hole my control of it you shattered how i was telling the truth about the ancient evil witch she did call to me but i embraced it his power combined with mine allowed me to break free of your control without you suspecting a thing. And with this ritual, I've broken your grasp on the dark hold. The book is mine again. We stopped you once not long ago, Morgan. What makes you think it will go differently now? Because I've embraced my destiny. You dragged me to this time, and I hate you for it. Thanks to your interference, I found this new power, and I can use it to destroy you. There's the new casting. She looks kind of weird. I'm not really sure how I feel about the costume, to be totally honest with you. I think maybe I prefer the uh, the original, but it is what it is. You can wear it if you want. Alright, so... 
This is the nerd. This is the final nerd. We might have to do this a couple times till we get our uh, our bearings here. Let's go ahead and basic on rogue. Let's uh let's rebalance. I'd like to have more debuffs on the field before I ultimate. Let's go ahead and taunt with Wong. Gotcha. Might be able to do it, but it's going to take a reset or two. All right. Let's see how we do. Definitely, definitely can already tell there's going to be a learning curve to this node for sure. All right. Let's uh, spread the skirmisher around. Rogue's about to clap somebody. Oof. Man, Agatha just on death's doorstep this entire time. All right, let's go ahead and special. We can't, we can't mess with this first wave, man. He, Gambit might just kill Agatha. Yeah, sure, she's dead. All right, that's problematic. That's an issue for us. My Agatha is not that big. All right, we're going to keep playing this out just so I get more familiar with the node. Uh, I don't want him taunting at all. That's going to be an issue. Rogue's kind of already blown her load, so we can let that go for a little bit. He's dead. He's dead. Oof. Thanks, Evac. You as well. I will do that, man. All right, we got rocked. That, uh, all right, this is brutal. That is a brutal first wave. Oh man. Well, we got, we got, we know it can be done. Although I, he's a big spender. We got some alliance mates uh, doing the upgrade on the awakened abilities from Morgan. So, we got people in the alliance doing it. See, see if I can be one of them. You have better luck attacking Rogue first, but it's not pretty. All right, let's give that a go. I don't know. I'm up for anything. I actually don't hate that on Scarlet Witch. She's the least necessary character. Although her extend is nice, but I'd rather have it on her than Agatha, I think. That's basic. Actually, if we got it on strange. That would be. That might be the best. Strange is great and all, but he is just damage. I think we really need the control. Well, Scarlet's dead. She ain't surviving Gambit and this big rogue splash that's coming up. That's for sure. Didn't even survive uh, Captain Sam. MLF will resist rogue if she's targeted. Okay, maybe that's the play then. Maybe we keep running it until, uh, until we get that RNG. Let's see how far we can get. Alright, again, I don't want to get stuck behind a Sam taunt. Gambit. I don't really want you doing anything else, man. You are kind of a pain. All right, let's go ahead and bring. Wish I had all fence up, but that's not where we're at. Let's just go ahead and bring the tentacles down. All 
I really don't want him getting to a taunt. I really don't want to get stuck behind a Sam. There's Wong. There goes Strange. And that's going to be... That's going to be that. Let's see if we can get the RNG where they target MLF. Let's see where we can get from that. Stunning Gambit's the move there. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing a lot of work on our team, man. For sure. Right. Tell you what, hell of a lot harder than difficulty one. That's for sure. Hell of a lot harder than difficulty one. All right, well, no ability blocks, so there's that. Alright, we feel like we have to extend here. Scarlet Witch does a lot, man. She does a lot. That rebounds is going to be huge. Extending all those debuffs on them is big. She's been pulling weight in this event, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, we, uh... We got a taunt. I'm not sure that she is going to survive the splash damage from the alt on Rogue, but we'll see. All right, mister, what do you think you're doing? We aren't going to flip anything there. Let's see if we can flip that to speed down to slow on Shang-Chi. We got that. Okay. She had safeguards, so there was really no point in basic in there. It wasn't going to do anything for her. Oh, we're going to lose. All right. We absolutely have to rebalance here. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. Let's go ahead and rewind them. All right. So we're going to have a big turn meter advantage right here. That's great. Gambit's going to go stealth. I drop him too low and I want to be able to stun him so we're gonna try to steal her buffs let's rewind Sam to buy us as much time as we can we have got to get a stun on Gambit please land fantastic all right so we're back on rogue all right so we don't have any debuffs up on anyone I think he only goes stealth when he drops below 50%. So let's just go in on Rogue. If he's already below 50%, I think we're good. I might be wrong about that here in a moment. Might regret that, but that's that's how we're playing it. Alright, let's see if we can get through Sam. Let's go ahead and basic. I'm gonna save the ultimate. I'd really like to have offense up when we do the ultimate. All right, this is going much better. So far, so good on this attempt. Let's slow Sharon. Let's see if we can kill Rogue. Rogue's down. Excellent. I want to get back to Shang-Chi. He gets back to his, uh, his ultimate pretty fast. So we're going to special here. Or ultimate, rather. I'd like to... Well, we're going to get splash damage anyway. I don't know when the next wave drops. So let's just basic here and take out... Dude, we popped. Uh, absolutely popped Nick Fury there. I wasn't expecting to kill him, but we got him. All right, let's slow down Cersei. All right, I think we just need to drop Cersei. She is going to clear a lot of stuff out. Ooh, we might be able to just flat out kill Cersei. This would be huge. Do we special or do we alt? All right, we're gonna we're gonna special. 
Or do I basic? Uh, I want to make sure I kill her. I need to kill her. She's dead. Six red heartless. And then we'll have that ultimate up for the last, presumably, what's going to be the last wave here. All right. Uh, let's... I think I want to kill Dazzler. Nuke them from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. You're right about that. We definitely need to nuke them. All right, now's the time. We're going to bring the hammer down. Doing big, big old damage to them. We have a bunch of shield securities to mess with. Shield security might be the most annoying character in the game, just at all times in a raid situation. Alright, feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. I'd really like to... Eh, might be able to just rip through Colleen Wang. Let's do that. We can avoid her, her AOE. All right, he's going to kill a bunch of people with splash damage. Let's go ahead and stun Dazzler. And then we'll put a basic right here. And that might, that should kill Colleen Wayne. That might kill Dazzler as well. No, I didn't kill Dazzler. Kill Adam Warlock though. All right, let's go ahead and rebalance. This is going very, very well. Very, very well. Uh, we got a very lucky resist early on in that rogue specialist uh we did not get ability blocked on strange heartless which was great he's also a good candidate for taking that scarlet witch her being able to use her abilities early on man made a huge difference for me that was really huge uh she has been as far as scarlet witch goes she has been excellent in this mode for me she's done a ton of work she's really helped with the, the sustain she's really helped with Locking down the enemy team, extending all the debuffs on them. She has been absolutely huge. And that's that. Alright, so we got through it. Needed a little good RNG on our side, but we got through it. We did it. Let's see what we get. What do these rewards look like? There we go. Alright. So... We have our awakened abilities for the special and I believe it's the passive. We got 10 armory 16 fragments, uh, orb fragments. That's great. We got two gold orbs, sure. T4s, never complain about that. Excellent. So that does it. Let's head on over to Morgan Le Fay in the character menu and throw some upgrades on her. It's time to celebrate. All right, MLF, let's go. All right, so I believe it's, yeah, it's two different currencies. So they're gonna have both have the icons of their associated, either the path, passive or the special. So this is gonna cost 200 gold to upgrade the passive. Apocalypse and all horsemen allies gain plus 50% max health. Apocalypse and all horsemen allies gain 100% resistance. Enjoy your arena tomorrow, everybody rogue is going to be a blast all right then we upgrade the special again 200 gold 200,000 gold on special applies speed up for two turns and immunity for one turn to an apocalypse ally and all horsemen allies again just giving rogue an incredible edge in arena so that's that we uh took a little good rng took a couple of attempts thank you sharky i appreciate it uh, yeah, but we got through it, so you guys can get through it. Again, I did it with a around 950k Darkhold team, G16 on all of them, uh, G15 on Scarlet Witch. So if you guys have a similar team power, you can clearly see that it will work. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you very much for hanging out this long. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful in some way. Maybe some of the tips, getting some insight into what the nose will look like when people are going to drop. If you guys enjoyed this, consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate uh, greatly appreciate it as I continue to add content to the channel and build, build what's there. Uh, in the description down below, I'm going to add a link to Twitch chat. Uh, or Twitch channel rather, uh, twitch.tv slash purplesticky. There will be a link down in the description below. 
come on over and hang out with, with us. We stream several days out of the week, uh, all kinds of stuff, Cosmic Crucible, War, events like this, whatever. We have a good time. So if you want to come over and hang out with, the, with us, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for hanging out this long. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.